Hey everyone! Today, we are going on an exciting journey through our digestive system. In this video, we will learn about our body's digestive system and discuss our teeth. Imagine eating your favorite sandwich. Did you know, as soon as you take that first bite, your food begins a fascinating journey inside you? This whole process of digestion, from start to finish, takes about 3 to 4 hours. Let's dive in and see what happens. Our digestive system is made up of several important parts, the mouth, food pipe, stomach, liver, pancreas, small intestine, large intestine, and finally, the anus. Each of these organs plays a crucial role in breaking down the food we eat. Ready to find out how? Let's go! First up is the mouth. Here, our teeth work like little grinders, breaking the food into smaller pieces. Meanwhile, saliva, a special liquid in our mouth, makes the food soft and even turns it a bit sweet by converting starch into sugar. It's like magic. Next, the food travels down the food pipe, or the esophagus, as it's scientifically called. This tube is like a slide that takes the food right into our stomach. Fun, isn't it? Once in the stomach, our food enters a bag-like structure where it gets mixed and churned into a paste. This paste is mixed with digestive juices, making sure everything is well blended. Moving on, the partly digested food then enters the small intestine. Here, it gets an extra dose of digestive juices. Then, Something amazing happens the nutrients from the food are absorbed into our blood and delivered to different parts of our body. It's like our food going on its own little adventure. What's left of our food, the part that our body doesn't need, moves into the large intestine. Here, most of the water gets absorbed back into the body and we are left with the undigested food. And finally, the journey ends as the undigested food is thrown out of our body through an opening called the anus. It's how our body gets rid of what it doesn't need. Now, let's take a moment to appreciate our teeth, the heroes of our digestive journey. Did you know? When the baby is about 6 months old, the teeth start appearing. By the time the baby is about 3 years old, they have 20 teeth. These teeth are called milk teeth. At the age of 6, the milk teeth start falling out. New teeth appear in their place. These are called permanent teeth. The part of the tooth we can see is called the crown. The part we cannot see is called the root. It holds the tooth firmly in place. The outer part of each tooth is made of enamel that is very hard and shiny substance. It protects the inside parts of the tooth. Enamel is the hardest substance in the human body. Dentine lies under the enamel. It is hard but not as much as the enamel. Dentine protects the innermost part of the tooth, called the pulp. It is soft and contains nerve endings and blood supply. The nerve endings inside the pulp send messages to the brain about any sensation. The nerves are connected to the gum through a hole in the root. Gums are the pink-colored soft tissue surrounding the teeth. In our mouths, we have different types of teeth, each with its own jaw. There are incisors, canines, premolars, and molars. Together, they help us bite, tear, and grind our food. Taking care of our teeth is very important. Brushing teeth with a toothpaste twice a day. It is also good to clean between the teeth with dental floss, which is a special string for cleaning teeth, to remove food particles. It is also important to visit the dentist regularly. We can also prevent tooth decay by not eating many sugary snacks and drinks. Calcium in milk keeps our teeth strong. Vitamin C keeps our gums healthy. The best way to brush teeth is in little circles until we have covered surface of every tooth. 
brush up and down rather than side to side and that's it folks conclusion we were able to learn how our food is digested in our body our teeth play a big role in our digestive system they help us to properly digest food hence we should take care of them we hope that you have understood the topic you can now study chapter notes watch video lectures and solve mcq tests of this chapter on eduref to ensure you score well in your school exams and that's not all you also get amazing courses for maths science english hindi and much more for class 4 thank you